The Mexico City earthquake took place on September 19th of 1985, early in the morning at 7.19 a.m. The 1985 Mexico City earthquake had a magnitude of 8.1 on the Richter scale. The event was followed with an aftershock the next day, which measured in at a magnitude of 7.8. Mexico City is located in Mexico. Mexico is located in Central America and is south of the United States. The quake caused in between 3 to $4 billion in damage. The energy released from the Mexico City earthquake is equivalent to 1,114 weapons exploding. The quake was felt over thousands of kilometers, as far as Los Angeles and Houston. It was a very traumatic event. Many residents in Mexico City were evacuated from buildings. It has been estimated that there were 10,000 deaths related to this earthquake. 30,000 people were injured from the quake, and thousands of more people were left without shelter. This earthquake is very important, for it allowed seismologists to make many scientific discoveries. It primarily affected buildings between 8 to 20 stories tall. Hotel Regis is a fantastic example of a building that was affected by the quake. This earthquake did not only cause damage to houses. The earthquake caused damage to schools, hospitals, businesses, and many more buildings. Many children were out of school because of the earthquake. Many patients were evacuated from the hospital during the earthquake. Children were not at school during the quake, as the quake happened earlier that morning. The earthquake also interrupted transportation and communication. This made it very hard for victims of the quake to communicate with their family. Mexico City is more vulnerable to earthquakes because it lies on top of dirt and sand. These materials are much less stable than bedrock and can be quite volatile in an earthquake. It took Mexico City a while to recover from the earthquake. Many Mexican citizens helped to assist each other because there were few rescue workers. Since the Mexico City earthquake, extra precautions have been taken to ensure that buildings are secure for future earthquakes that may occur. Building codes have been modified for taller buildings in between 8 to 20 stories because of the discoveries that were made. The earthquake affected buildings in different ways. For example, this building caught on fire. Other buildings collapsed or crumbled. In some scenarios, not all of the floors of the buildings collapsed. The photo displayed is a picture of a bronze statue located at the corner of Manuel J. Othen in San Antonio Abid. The statue collapsed in the factory because of the 1985 Mexico City earthquake. This quake had a lack of rescue workers. Many residents helped to rescue survivors of the earthquake. Many residents were in shock from this event. Witnesses have described this event as traumatic. It caused many people to faint or pass out in shock. The photograph displayed is a picture of more modern buildings in Mexico City compared to a while back. Since the disaster, properties in Mexico City must be able to withstand earthquakes that could potentially occur. Ever since this devastating event, the victims will be honored on the 19th of September, 2010, March the 25th anniversary of this event. The President of Mexico City comes out annually to publicly remember the lives that were lost from this incident. Even though this quake caused tons of damage, in a way it is an asset to us because it allowed us to be prepared for future earthquakes. Many buildings in Mexico City have been abandoned since the quake. The photo displayed is an apartment complex that has been abandoned in the neighborhood. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Here are some of the main points to remember. 
This event took place in September of 1985. $34 billion in damage was caused. 10,000 lives were lost. Buildings were primarily affected that were 8 to 20 stories. And this earthquake left many homeless. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you.